they did not get married to any unprofitable or unproductive woman. As a man, I just advise you to stay away from any woman who get offended when you ask them what you bring to the table. You know, I see a lot of men also talking against that that a woman should not bring anything to the table. The man is supposed to provide everything. Sometimes it's not about providing. Sometimes it's about who you know is behind you. Who you know, mm, if everything goes wrong, this is my woman, this is a good person. This is somebody who can make things happen even if I'm not around. Even if you're not around, she'll be able to make things happen for, you, for your children. That's the kind of woman most of men are looking for today not necessarily means money mostly most of these successful men uh, i'm talking about their success was brought to be by their wives their wives are the brains behind their success there's nothing profitable in a man's life than to get married to a woman who has brains who can make things happen when you go into history every successful man let's start from uh, barack obama let's go to jj rollins let's go to uh, prophet muhammad there's so many people you can you can mention. So what I was saying, let's look at people in society, prominent people in society. For even those whose life are sorted, who will never be broke or who will never go broke in their life, like Otumfo got married to someone who will bring something to the table. We recently heard about the story of Otumfo and his wife, and even those whose life are sorted for life, who will never go broke no matter what get married to people or get married to ladies or get married to women who will bring something to the table as i said if you go into history every great man every extremely successful man who have achieved extraordinary greatness marry ladies or women who bring something to the table marriage is a business so when you go into business you partner with someone who brings something to the table something or some, someone who has something to offer. They just don't go into business and say, okay, I have this thing to offer. There's someone somewhere here, come on board. You don't have anything to offer. Come and be my business partner. It doesn't work that way. It does not work that way. No matter how we humans want to run away from the truth and reality, marriage is a business. So the person that you get married to is a business partner. So we shouldn't forget that marriage is a business no matter how we want to run away from the truth and the facts. Even those whose life are sorted we want to marry someone who has something to offer in the marriage or have something to bring to the table. They can go into history and make a research about extraordinary people or people who achieve extraordinary greatness in their wives. You will realize those kind of wives or those kind of women brought something to the table. They, in fact, they brought majority of things on the table. They brought something special on the table. I was listening to one lady on this app, and she was like, a certain guy asked him what he, he brings to the table, and he was like, she was the table, or she is the table. <laughs> and I laugh. How can you be the table? The table is the life that you people are going to have together. The success and the failure that you face is the table. You know, that's a human. You just imagine whether you are a man or a woman. If you have something to bring to the table and you get married to someone who has nothing to bring or who has nothing to offer in the marriage and your friend or your colleague or your sibling also get married and that person has something to offer and he or she got married to someone who also has something to offer. This too, mm, your home and that of your sibling or that of your friend or that of your colleagues so which one do you think it will prosper which one do you think they will attain success fast or faster which one do you think they will have a stable home sometimes when it comes to marriage or building a home you have to put your emotions aside you have to put your emotions aside and face reality and face reality let me tell you if one person just cater for a home he or she will get tired no matter what we're trying to run away from this truth we're trying to run away from this truth in fact how you women or ladies see men in marriage or relationship is totally different from how we men see you women see men as husbands as lovers and what have you but men see women as properties or as an asset men see women as an asset or a property a woman's love 
is based on feelings. A woman's love is based on feelings. But a man's love is based on decisions. A woman's love is based on feelings. But a man's love is based on decisions. It's a choice. It's not a feeling. A man's love is a choice, not a feeling.